Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. I am working today and running incredibly late as per usual. Um, I have some media previews that I'm going to be heading to this afternoon uh, just to check out what's coming up for the retailers in terms of their spring summer collections. Um, obviously from the runways we'll know what's already sort of on trend so it'll be interesting to see what some of the retailers are planning to incorporate. So I'm going to be heading into the city for a little bit just to go have a peek at that. I've got to get to the gym because I'm trying to get into some new health lifestyle habits and actually so far I've been really enjoying it I'm so sore I can barely move <laughs> but you know pain is beauty pain is beauty or did I say the backwards beauty is pain <laughs> I can't remember and then overall I just have some paperwork and things I need to do at home I don't know that Sean and I really like planned anything for Valentine's Day so we'll kind of see we ended up going for dinner just this past weekend together because both of our schedules are just so crazy right now. So I think that was probably more of a Valentine's Day for us, even though that's not what we like talked about. We didn't say it was going to be that. Um, but I really don't think there's anything exciting coming in that department, so we'll see. And this is the extent of my festive dressing. I've got a pink lip on. I've got like, I don't know, like, what would you call it? Like a burgundy sort of pinky glitter um, and a pink highlight. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but. That's the extent of my Valentine's Day dressing. Everything else is straight up gray. <laughs> so, yeah. And actually, I toned my hair yesterday and it's looking kind of lavender. Don't you guys think? It's looking more like lavender than silver. I'm not hating on it though. Yes, these are my sunglasses as of late. They're like a cheapy, no-name brand. But I thought I'd wear them today because it's Valentine's Day and I'm kind of loving the rose gold, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> They're so obnoxious and I friggin' love them. So I finished the media preview that I was doing and I am now going to be heading back to the burbs where, <laughs> where I've come from. Um, but the media preview was really nice. There's some really cool stuff coming out from brands. So I cannot wait to share some of that with you guys, both in video content and then just showing some things on my blog for all of you guys as well. So definitely stay tuned to, for that. And it was so nice otherwise to just catch up with some friends and bloggers that I really don't get to see all of that often we just end up going to previews at different times and of course life just gets busy so it was so sweet catching up with some of them um, and just having a bit of a laugh and just chatting I love it so now I'm going to get out of the city before it becomes impossible with traffic so let's head home so back home once more just got in look at this cute little plant I was gifted during the preview. Is that not adorable? I love the little casing. It comes in sort of an industrial feel and the plant's adorable. Although truth be told, I kind of broke off one of the top pieces. See how it's like sort of falling on the side. I just shoved it in a bag because I was carrying so much stuff and yeah, kind of damaged it. So I feel a little bit bad about that, but we'll see how this little babe does. I'm gonna put it over top of our mantle up here put it up there so it's looking cute I just got to remember to water it now because truth be told friends most living things that are plants that come to my place come to die and I just wanted to make something for lunch I had actually meal prepped for the first time this week um, actually for the first time ever I never meal prep so I'm gonna pull out one of my lunches and actually I'll show you what I've got in the fridge anyway Sean and I are trying to eat healthier so we've got fresh food fruit and yogurt, hummus. There's all of my meal prep items there. I've got some baby spinach, carrots, um, meats and stuff for meals later on this week. 
I've got my Perrier grapefruit. You guys know how obsessed I am with this stuff. Um, this is raw cat food because we feed our dogs and cat raw. And I've got some more lettuce and cucumber in there. And I think we finished, yeah, most of the veg that we had in here because I meal prepped with a lot of it. So only a few more like veg left. And then your typical condiment. So just to show you what I had meal prepped with some of them. I've got a chicken breast, some beans, and a little bit of sweet potato for my lunch. This is so good and it's nice and filling, but really healthy and really clean. I've actually really been enjoying this. And to keep things like extra healthy, I also heat everything in the oven in this like little cake dish. I cover it with aluminum foil just because we don't own a microwave because it takes so many of the nutrients out of your food. They can be really bad for you. There's lots of studies on that. So we prefer to cook ours the old fashioned way in the oven. So that's how I'm gonna heat mine up now. So I'm by no means a health guru, but Sean and I did just recently start eating healthy. We're exercising regularly and going to the gym and uh, we are meal prepping. That's a big part of our week, at least for the lunch end of things. Um, but if you guys are interested in seeing what we do for meal prep or what I'm eating recently, or if you wanna see a what I eat in the day, um, now that I've chosen to go down a healthy road, <clears throat> then comment down below, let me know, and I'll put together a video for you. Well, I'm working from home. This little one is just sleeping away. Hey, Oscar. <laughs> He's my old little lump, 15 years old. He's we boy. <laughs> and then we've got Miss Trouble over here. Hey, Jasmine. Hi. Although you look pretty sleepy right now too, huh? Are you sleepy? You know, pumpkin. I love having them around when I work from home, but the only bad thing is, is if I'm ever on a client call and someone comes to our door, they start barking like crazy. And then I have to like quickly like slam my phone on, or phone on mute <laughs> just so they can't hear them so bad. What'd you get? Wine for dinner. Ooh, fancy. So I'm just back from the gym. You'll have to excuse the sexy hair here. <laughs> and uh, had a great workout, just did some cardio because I had done some weights yesterday and the background noise is the hubs opening a bottle of wine. We're gonna have some wine and I'm balancing my workout by having greasy Chinese tonight. <laughs> Super good for the system <laughs> and overall goes right down with the meal planning. Are you excited for Chinese? Static. Sean really doesn't like Chinese. He's allowing me to order it because I really like it, right? <laughs> but, and he actually is not really much of a wine drinker either. Like he normally has it when we go to his extended family like ga gatherings and he'll have it maybe with dinner every now and then, but we don't, it's not something we have, or you have anyway all the time. I have it all the time. <laughs> So I was trying to get shots of the wine, or of Sean pouring wine, and what did you say? Can I just live my life? <laughs> Sean is an Instagram husband. Although you're actually not anymore, because a girlfriend of mine and I take pictures together every week now for both my blog slash website and just for Instagram and whatnot. So Sean's off the hook. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> what does that even mean? So just to show you Sean and I's uh, romantic attire for one another tonight. I am still in gym clothing, rocking some pretty hot socks here. I haven't even changed in the gym. And Sean, do you want to model? Also wearing whoa, whoa, some whoa. sweatpants with some old man slippers. <laughs> you no socks either. What, what? <laughs> so you and I are, we're classy tonight, right? Yo, I got a retro flash shirt. You can't even see the flash symbol <laughs> It's on been it washed yet. off. No, that's the way it came. No, it's not. I saw yes, what it looked it like initially. There's no way. Yeah, this is He's a so full of it. No, it was a Target special. <laughs> oh yeah. Back when Target was in Canada, it was like which has been fifteen bucks from Target. Yeah, Target doesn't exist in Canada anymore, so that just shows you how long it's been. Anyway, I think we're probably just going to watch a movie tonight, or I know we will have to catch up on our Celebrity Apprentice. We haven't watched that yet for this week, so I still don't know the winner. And I really want to watch the movie Selma. It was brought up, or was brought to my attention. I know it's a super old movie. It's on Netflix. But my church had actually brought it up um, in the service this past Sunday in regards to peace and how we should all be more about peace. And was talking largely about Martin Luther King. And I actually, I knew 
of the movie like way back but had never watched it and then forgotten about it but it looks so moving and I'm dying to watch it now so I mentioned it to Sean yesterday night after I finished work and I'm hoping that we're gonna watch it tonight so snuggle up on the couch kind of evening the feast has arrived we always love getting egg rolls uh, this is Singapore vermicelli plain fried rice chicken balls well, that's really kind of it because it's just too much for us we normally actually don't have these noodles like we do sometimes but we also get the lo mein with a lot more like veg because this is pretty carb filled but with wine it goes down smooth right babe yeah and we are just finishing up the celebrity apprentice i don't know if you guys can see and we're in the finals of it so i think it's just gonna be a chill binge greasy food kind of night anyway guys i'm going to leave you here with this vlog it's uh coming around close to 9 30 and i'm just pooped from the day and i'm just gonna continue chilling i'm gonna watch a movie with the man we're finishing off a shark tank episode and then I'm gonna watch the movie Selma because I've been really, really looking forward to that. So I hope all of you that celebrated Valentine's Day or wanted to do something for it had a great time, whether you were single, with somebody, with friends, whatever the case may be, I hope you enjoyed yourself. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you in a few days. See ya.